David Ivkovich. I'm here with Tom Freeman, the Commissioner of Foreign Trade for Riverside County. How are you? I'm doing great and we're glad to have you here. What does your office do to help attract foreign investors from Canada? Well, this is an important program. We're working with Canadian investors by, first of all, letting them know that Riverside County is absolutely open for business. Our Board of Supervisors, it's an elected body that runs the county. The five of them are 100% behind bringing more Canadians here, more Canadian investment, more Canadian jobs, and our tourism. And that's why this partnership with CBC is really important with Riverside County. It's very strategic as it puts Canadian leaders in California in touch with local government leadership for a great partnership that benefits both sides. And when did you when did your office first start seeing this Canadian uh, contingency coming down and investing like what draw, drew you to that? Actually it took a lot of research with Moody's out of Philadelphia which is a world-class financial firm looking at who was coming here what types of jobs they generated, what types of payrolls. And that's where Canada really smokes everybody, the payroll that is being paid to U.S. workers, our county residents, our city residents, by Canadian firms is upwards of a quarter billion dollars a year. And of course there's taxes that come out of that. But more importantly for us right now in our struggling economy, we need those jobs. And how many Canadians a week do you think come to Palm Springs? Well thanks to our air traffic figures, I know exactly how many fly in on one airline and it's 3,000 a week. So this is fantastic for us to get 3,000 Canadians in here every week. And uh, we look forward to continuing to grow that partnership with that airline and making sure that we have lots of things for Canadians to do that they like and a place to do business that will really return money that they invest. And uh, tell us a bit of some of the statistics uh, for Canadians. I've heard that they're 40% new business and real estate is Canadian now. Okay, here we'll go on the statistics part. You buy, our friends in Canada, 44% of everything we make here. Our real estate industry in this area of Riverside County, which we call the Coachella Valley or Palm Springs, reports that 80% of all our home sales right now are going to Canadians and we have a huge excess inventory of housing so they're helping us out of our foreclosure problem and as far as job creation for every one direct job a Canadian firm creates here in Riverside County another 1.7 in indirect jobs is created so we almost get two jobs for every one you actually pay for so it's extremely important to Californians and Riverside County residents and people in Palm Springs that Canadian investment continues to flow into Riverside County. And when you first saw those statistics, what were your first initiatives to draw Canadian investment? Well, first of all, we wanted to touch base with the Canadian government and let them know that through David France and the Consul General in Los Angeles, we were very interested in partnering with the Canadian government in ways that we could cross-promote our business. So we worked with David. Then we met with the CBC led by Lee Frazier and that partnership uh, is going to continue to develop and that will bring more businesses here, cross promote both countries and, and form a partnership that can last a long, long time and benefit everyone. Riverside County is a large county in California. Can you tell us how that's benefiting Riverside County and what other counties in California and the United States are doing to emulate what you guys are doing here? Well, that's the fun part. A lot of counties, and there are over 4,000 counties in the United States, they're looking exactly at what we're doing and they want to copy us. So we're just glad that the Canadians picked us first, that they've been successful here. And I think that's the key. You're not going to come to a place to do business if you can't be successful here. So when you come to Riverside County, California, which is in Southern California, where the weather's great all year round, you can make your return on investment that you need to justify the investment and the larger investors that come in here and invest five hundred thousand dollars or more they're receiving a permanent u.s. visa with the opportunity if they wish to pursue citizenship at some time so that is also an important inducement that canadians need to be aware of that if you make an investment here that that investment can also lead to citizenship uh... that's incredible especially for canadians snowbirds that want to retire and stay down here long term um, what do you do to attract Canadians? Do you guys have a marketing campaign back in Canada? Well, this is another place where the CBC partnerships become critical. 
because through their work here with two golf tournaments, one of course with the March of Dimes and another with the Canadian PGA Tour, we're able to reach Canada and do it inexpensively through what they're promoting. Great weather, great scenery, great food, great fun, great golf courses, and a great place to start a business or expand. Back, back.